there's some sort of magician's card trick convention? Many, actually. And at this convention, there's a A-list crowd of magicians? Yeah, they're called the Card Coalition. They're this snotty, elitist, self-important group, but they control the magic world. If I have any chance of moving up in this business, I have got to impress them. So if I understand you, you're a dork trying to impress bigger dorks with a card trick so dorky you'll be allowed to dork it up with the king dorks. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd put it that way exactly. Why don't you just take a date with you? I'm sure they'll never figure out the secret to that little mystery. Forget it. Okay, wait, I'll help you. Do you want me to assist you again? I thought you were against magic assisting. Well, I just don't want my parents to find out. They still think I'm a stripper and I really don't want to disappoint them. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay, there are currently exactly 984 ways to find a chosen card. These guys know every one of them. If I'm gonna impress them, I need something that they have never seen before. Something that will like blow them away. I think I might have an idea. Do you have any handcuffs? Well, like any group, magic falls into a hierarchy. I'm somewhere in the middle. But if I got to the top, more money, better shows, and groupies. Yeah, there are magic groupies. It's actually not as great as it sounds. That was so hot. That was hotter than when Chris Angel levitated over the shark tank. Uh, you're not supposed to be back here. Do me right here in the dressing room of the Magic Fortress. I brought toys. Is that a magic wand dildo? And porn. Oh, God. Oh, I'll be the Great Wall of China, and you can penetrate me. Oh. I used to really love David Copperfield. So what ever happened to that girl, Nicole, that you met at the bar, the one with the card trick? Yeah, yeah, we actually had one date, uh, sign that. It was going pretty well, and then we went back to my place and she pulled out a condom. That sounds like it was going really well. I was so nervous, I blew it up and I twisted it into a balloon poodle. <laughs> he, no, you didn't. It wasn't as charming as I thought it was gonna be. Speaking of which, uh, pick one. They're balloons, just take one. Well, you know, I was talking to Chelsea the other day. She said she helped you come up with something for this convention. Yeah, she's got this uh, kind of wild idea, but I think it just might work. Wow. Not bad, huh? You know, I never understood why you guys didn't get together. You know, she's an actress, model, whatever. I'm a magician. You know, she puts us at the top of the dork pyramid. Well, I don't get it. I mean, I, I thought all beautiful women love magic. It was working with Nicole until you built her that Trojan poodle. Yeah, Nicole was a fluke. Well, if Chelsea ever does come around, don't fluke it up. <laughs> right. No way! Thank you. Thank you very much. That's awesome. <laughs> Tip your waitress. <laughs> oh, it wasn't that awesome. All right, we're up next to rehearse after Juggle Boy up there finishes. I thought this was a magic convention. Yeah, there's a juggler at every magic convention. It ensures at least one person on stage has, you know, actual skill. He's clearly got skills. It looks like he should come with Castle Grayskull. Mm. Call me Castle Grayskull. <sighs> really? Hey, are you sure this routine we're doing isn't, you know, too risque? Well, you said you wanted something that would get you noticed. Matt said he wanted it to be edgy, so I invited my friend Brandy to help. The Card Coalition won't know what hit him. But honestly, I don't really get why magicians are always trying to impress each other. I mean, they're already at the top of the dork pyramid. Isn't that enough? Let's hear it for Ivan and his flying balls. I love those balls. And now, promising us a card trick unlike anything that we've ever seen. I'm sure that's true. Please welcome the magical artistry of Matt Matisse! 
Thank you very much. Tonight, I'm not going to do just any card trick. No, I'm going to combine card magic with something far more exciting. Escape. Behind me sit the only pair of handcuffs that Harry Houdini never escaped from. They're on loan to me from the Houdini Museum in Appleton, Wisconsin. Now, over the past hundred years, dozens of magicians have tried and failed to escape from these cuffs. And tonight, it's my turn. Uh, Brandy, uh, would you please prepare the handcuffs? You, sir, as I ruffle through these cards, please remember one in your mind. Got one? Now, I am not going to find his car. My assistants will. Four ways to find a chosen card. This is 985. You, sir, what card did you select? The Four of Diamonds. Edgy and different and new and like nothing they'd ever seen. I mean, the crowd loved it. But I guess I'm still not good enough for those elitist jerks and their criteria. I still didn't get into the card coalition. We did. <laughs> Next time on Disillusioned. You did my prediction trick and he pitched a TV special to you. Yeah. I had a call back for Bring It On 17. Of course I want my friends to succeed. Just slightly less than I do. I might have put super glue on the handles of pom-poms. This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. And I'm a dog. In wizard duels, there are no rules. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm just not pretty enough. So I kind of... Deleted a few pictures from his account.